Hi guys, so this is going to be my Lime Crime unboxing. Um, I finally ordered some Velveteens, and I ordered them when they had their like re-release of all the Velveteens all at once. Talk to you guys a little bit about my ordering process and what happened with that. Also, um, want to let me cover my shit here. Unbox the box. I haven't opened it yet. I just got it in the mail like 20 minutes ago. Also, please excuse how I look today. I actually pinched a nerve in my back this morning and it hurts to breathe. So um, I'm a little worse for wear, but um, I just wanted to come on here and kind of show you guys my cat sweater too. It's kind of freaking awesome. I purchased the Velveteens. I purchased five. Um, this was when they released it. I think it was around like the 2nd of January. They released it, put them all online, and then their website just crashed. And like any one of you who'd ordered from that time know you know. It took me personally around 36 hours total. Um, that's between me trying. Like the original time I tried by the time I purchased it was about 36 hours. Not straight. Just kind of like refreshing the page and then I'd put things in my cart and then my cart would get cleared and it was it was a frigging nightmare. So that being said, it's I know it was some controversy on their Instagram and stuff how like they never really released a statement saying hey our website is down. I personally think that's fine, like they did release it one after that said, hey guys, like we're really busy, we're getting your orders out as quickly as we can, you know, our website had issues. But I think a lot of people were really mad that they didn't just put something up right away. A lot of the times when a company has like a big sale, like Black Friday sale or something like that, and they get a lot of traffic, their website will crash. And I've known other companies to put on a thing right away that says, hey, we're having issues. Whereas Lime Crime didn't do that, and I feel a lot of people got kind of pissed off. Me, I was patient, like I knew, I was like, okay, well, you know, if they're sold out, I'll wait till the next time. I'm just gonna take my time with this website, and eventually it went through. Placed my order on the, I believe it was the 4th of January. I waited five days for them to process it, which is a little much. And then today is the, so it shipped on the 9th of January, and I got it today, which is the 20th of January. So it took um, about 11 days for, for it to ship to me in Canada which is normal-ish. It's a little bit longer than most places, but I mean, I can forgive them because they were really swamped with orders. Anyway, so I have a knife and I'm gonna cut this bad boy open. Let me see what we got here. Ooh. <laughs> this is kind of what, something I'm really excited about. You open it up and it has, I am spinning. Um, it has the Lime Crime box. And I heard, from what I understand, that you can like flip this box inside out, so that's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna flick this open. I'm just gonna take this out, which I believe is where everything is. They gave me an order form, which is great. So let's just make sure that everything is good to go. My little things are in this thing, so I'm gonna open this up. Really nicely packaged, like a lot of um, tissue paper, which is great. Like a lot of lot of tissue paper. <laughs> so here they are. So this is what the packaging looks like. Glam Velveteen. Um, tells kind of the color that like wraps around, tells you what it is. That's kind of cool. So let me see. So I got five. So I'm gonna talk to you guys on the ones I got. So I got cashmere and I got pansy and I got Salem and Wicked. Um, and this one is Black Velvet. So I am super excited. Oh, I see. So like that's actually, oh that's neat. So like with the label over this, it actually seals them. So that's cool. So I'm gonna whip out my knife again and not cut my freaking hand off. So this is what they look like. So they are 0 0.88 fluid ounces or 1 point, or 2.6 mil. So that's not that much product, but whatever. So it says vegan cruelty free, blah, blah, blah. All the ingredients are on the back, which is nice. But yeah, it's really cool that they kind of seal the top so like you know for sure that someone hasn't gotten into it. <laughs> I just opened Salem and it's like the exact color I thought it would be in my head, so that's awesome. Okay, so these are the five colors that I got out of the packaging. It's kind of neat. So the packaging is sort of like a frosted tube, which is neat. This one is Cashmere. That is Pansy. That one is Wicked. Salem and then black velvet. So they come with a little doe foot applicator, which is nice. Let me swatch it. Ooh, yeah, okay. So this is a little bit of a. Ooh, they smell really good. Oh man, what is that? Oh, it smells like fucking good. It smells like buttercream frosting, honest to God. <laughs> it's, yeah, kind of like 
buttercream cheese cream cheese frosting that's cool all right so this one is cashmere ignore this other swatch but that one is cashmere oh wow oh my god they're so thin in comparison to the um and to the uh cat Von d ones these ones are a lot more like liquidy which is really neat because you think that it's not going to be full coverage like that or like bright and pigmented and then it is so that's really cool. It looks a little dangerous just because I found that the t like it's more um, up the tube. Not a big deal, but I just want to make sure that there is a stopper in there. Yeah. So this one is Wicked and that one is Wicked. One thing I can tell already though is that they don't dry down as quickly as the Cap on D ones, which isn't an issue, but just letting you know. This one is Salem, which is kind of like a brown. Oh wow, yeah. There's such a thin, neat consistency. Like, it's so watery, it's weird. They smell like freaking amazing. Like, they smell so good, I want to eat them. So then, lastly, there is Black Velvet, which is the one that I probably, admittedly, am most excited about. And that one is just a black. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, that is fun. So, I am going to apply one to my lips. Um. Just out of curiosity, I don't know which one I should do first. I want to friggin' wear them all. Actually, no, I'm gonna do Black Velvet. Also, one thing I will say is that this one, Black Velvet's the only one out of them that has a little unicorn label on it. So I have a feeling that they, that that's from a different batch. So that's just my curiosity. But anyway, I have my mirror here. So I'm going to try to apply this and see how it goes on without any lip liner or anything. Oh my goodness, it's so like liquidy. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> like, I like to think I'm good at applying lip products, and this makes me doubt that. Okay, so maybe the black one wasn't the best one to start with. This is what it looks like with me trying to get it to look good. Um, yeah, so it's still drying. So I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about how I feel about it so far while it's still drying. So in the time that I did the swatches, um, like cashmere is mostly dry. So I have a feeling that these take a while to set on the lips. Um, so... Just already a little difference between the other liquid lipsticks I've tried. The Cat Von D ones dry pretty friggin' quick. Like, they're, they're like 30 seconds and they're dry. These ones, I feel, are going to take a little bit longer. Also, these ones are a little bit more um, liquidy, so it's really difficult to apply. Um, I, I like to think that I'm pretty good at applying lipsticks. Like, I've been wearing lipsticks since I was, like, 14. And even this is, a, it because it's so pigmented and so, like smooth it's um i can see it being really easy to screw up and i i did screw up and also just to mention don't mush your lips together to get it to transfer to the top because i jacked up like right here um might want to try this with the lip liner um that being said it is starting to dry now so that's kind of cool yeah it's starting to get down to a texture this is so neat though i oh, love the texture i have a major issue with things sticking to the inside of my lips, like the Melt Cosmetics lipsticks don't. Um, this doesn't seem to be an issue. It makes my teeth look white. Just my first impression, it's a little bit more hydrating than the Kat Von D ones, which I could see because these are definitely thinner. Um, it's, it's weird, but yeah, so, so far I like it. I don't know how it's gonna wear. I imagine it's gonna wear pretty well. Um, it's really, really fun. I'm so, so excited, guys. You have no idea. That's my kind of unboxing, first impressions um, so far of the Lime Crime Velveteens. I like them so far. I'm going to wear each one of them a couple times, maybe over the course of the next two weeks or so. And then what I'm going to do is do like a collective video on how they wear and like a full solid review, um, how each color is and everything and go from there, yeah. Definitely a little harder to apply because they are a little bit more liquidy. I find the Kat Von D ones are more creamy, so it's, I don't know, like you can put it on and kind of move it around, whereas these ones, it's kind of like, whoa, things are on my face um, and moving all around everywhere. They're super crazy pigmented, at least the black one is. Uh, this is just, 
bonkers, quay quay bonkers to me. So hopefully you guys kind of like this first impression. Um, it was really fun for me. I'm very excited to have them. They're beautiful colors and I can't wait, I can't wait to try them. And um, this so far is just blowing my friggin' mind. They are so good. We'll see how they work over the next little while. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let me know if you guys have tried any down below and how you like them. So yeah, until my next one, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye.